Ah, sorry. Early morning, half asleep. Never mind, never mind. Your books, right, on the floor. Yeah, let me pick this up for you. History, chemistry, art, lit. Wait. Are you the new student my homeroom teacher has been talking about non-stop? Ah, thought so. Your face just doesn't fit, you know? What do you mean by that? Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. I didn't mean it like that. Here, here. I think it's better if I show you, really. Now, look around you. Look at all those faces. What do they all have in common? They all look tired, fed up, dejected. That's what happens when you spend so much time studying here. Obviously, there's always an exception to every rule, and that's me. <laughs> Tough crowd, huh? Here, as an apology, since I bumped into you, I'll carry these books here uh, with me, and I'll take you to your homeroom, because I'm guessing you're not very familiar. You may have been shown around, but you're not very familiar. Yeah? Mm, thought so. Yeah, just, yeah, just follow me. What am I listening to? Oh, <laughs> um, it's uh, it's driver's it's driver's license by Olivia Rodrigo. Anyways, enough about me. Too many questions. <laughs> so where are you from? Because it's definitely not local. Mm hmm. Mm. Is it a nice place? I've never actually been, you see. What's the um, what's the food there like? And before you say, oh, what a weird question. I have this thing where I like to visit places, and I like to visit them mainly for their food. So, say so here, I'll give you, I'll give, you, I'll give you an example. This little town is known for three things, right? Pies, more pies. And extra pies. <laughs> so yeah. So what's what's your place like? Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm well, now you're just making me hungry, aren't you? So um, if you don't mind me asking, why why did you move here? Uh huh. Well, I guess if I really have to, I guess I can be friends with you. I don't think that's a lot to do, but yeah. <laughs> ah, right on time. Welcome to my castle. If you look inside, you can see my subjects, these peasants over here. <laughs> Don't pay them no mind, they won't bother you. <laughs> ah, looks like the jig is up. You've caught their attention now, what is it? This new girl. Here, ladies first, and uh, here are your books. And oh, before you go and get mobbed by everyone, don't be a stranger now, eh? <laughs> See you later, new girl. <sighs> Finally, sat down. Our introduction. Let's hear it. So that's her name. Oh, 
forgot to ask your name actually hmm. why is mrs williams pointing at me oh no bro we're getting split up forcefully removed man it's making me emotional why Look ahead of you. Mrs. Williams has been eyeing your desk for the new girl. She probably saw me walking in with our new student and thinks it's some sort of punishment to look after her or something. Ugh. Where are you getting moved? Hopefully outside. <laughs> your ugly ass needs removing from this room ASAP. Man, ASAP. <laughs> Better pack your things. And you desk partners coming up. Not too bad, I guess. The view definitely improves when you're gone and her replacing you. Ah, now move your ass, man. Hey, new girl. Came to break up me and my... <laughs> me and my darling's seating arrangement. Look how sad he is. You know, you've only known me for such a short time, and here you are, being all territorial. I like that. <laughs> God, come on, not even a smile. Anyways, I'm guessing, like, just a wild stab in the dark. Mrs. Williams over there, who's laughing at her plan right now told you that I will be your guide for the next week. Yeah. <laughs> I think she's on a mission to make my week hell, you know. I can see in the evil in those eyes, man. You can see it too, right? Look, see, see not just me, right? I'm not being delusional. <sighs> Never mind. To be fair, I should probably ask you Will you be a pain this week and give me hell? Or you'll be a good girl 